We're looking at how to become a data analyst and specifically how to transition into a data analyst career. With the data analytic with the data analytics field continuing to grow and over 60% of companies saying they're planning to hire even more data analysts in the future, it's still an amazing time to get into this field. We'll look at the skills you should work on so you can start your new data analyst career. If we haven't met, I'm Jen and I have over 15 years of experience as a data analyst and hiring and managing data analysts. I've helped many people build their data analyst careers and I wanna help you build yours. Now, now, let's look at how to become a data analyst. One of the great things about data analyst careers is they offer a wide variety of options. If your current career isn't in data analytics, there's still a really good chance that you've built a lot of strong data analyst skills in the work that you've already done, maybe without even knowing it. Since you have the advantage of having business experience, you have skills that you can leverage as you transition into a data analyst job and a data analytics career. Check out the link in the description to my book, How to Become a Data Analyst, to get a really intense guide that shows you the skills that you'll need and how to build them if you don't already have them. Let's look at how to become a data analyst if you're currently working in a non-technical role. Non-technical jobs would include marketing, sales, and operations or manufacturing related jobs. If you're currently working in one of these areas, consider the idea of becoming a data analyst that specializes in one of them. Because you have a unique knowledge of this specific area or industry, you're going to be even better at analyzing this data than someone that's not familiar with it. You'll understand common connections that exist, how the data might interact with each other. You've likely built some good communication skills to go with that specialized knowledge because you're working in the business and likely interacting with a lot of different people in your current role or in a past role. The areas of focus for you when you're looking at how to become a data analyst would be the statistical and programming skills. These are skills that a lot of people that are coming from non-technical roles don't tend to have. The great thing about already being in a job and having access to information in data is you can use data sets you already have to perform some basic statistics and to start learning some programming around that information. Developing and using these data analyst skills not only helps you get a specific data analyst job in the future, it's likely making you much better at your current job. Analyze information, analyze the data you have, and use this to make data-driven decisions within the area that you have influence over. For instance, if you're working in marketing, Analyze the results of a marketing campaign to determine what were the factors that led to the most success and what things may have been detrimental that you want to avoid in the future. This both makes you more effective as a marketer, but it also starts to demonstrate your analytical skills, which is going to be a key piece that you can then put on your resume when you apply for a data analyst job. It also starts to build opportunities for career openings to become a data analyst within your current organization. You start to get recognition from your boss, from others around you that you work with as being an analytical person that's able to work well with data. Even if you decide to go to a different company, you can leverage your practical application of data analyst skills with your marketing specific knowledge and use that to become a marketing data analyst. Let me know in the comments what type of career you're in now that you're considering transitioning out of to become a data analyst. Now let's talk about how to become a data analyst if you're working in a technical role already. Just like with non-technical roles, you bring a specific subject matter expertise that can make you a big asset to an organization by already knowing about what they do and how their data interacts with other data that they may have. If you have an IT background, you likely already have the programming skills you need. If you come from an engineering or a math background, you probably already have the math skills you need and maybe you have the programming skills as well. Usually the key for people transitioning to a data analyst career from a technical role is going to be more on the communication and data visualization end of things. As a general rule, people in technical roles tend to already have stronger programming and math skills that they can leverage. If that's not you, if you're coming from a technical role and don't have a strength in these areas, then work on building them up. As with non-technical roles, leverage the skills that you have and the data you have available within your current job to make 
make better data-driven decisions and start to be viewed as a very analytical person within your role. This helps to build your reputation within the organization and creates other opportunities for networking both within and outside of your organization that give you a firm foundation for becoming a data analyst. Somewhat related to data analyst jobs are business analyst jobs. These can be a great option if your technical skills aren't quite as strong or you don't have as much of an interest on the technical side, but you have a real passion, a real interest in making business decisions that are driven off of data, and you're more into analyzing processes and the people organization than the data specifically itself. These tend to be less technical roles, but they're still doing many of the same things that data analysts are doing in adding value and creating change within the organization. Check out my quiz on analytics career paths linked in the description. Answer nine questions and I'll recommend the best analytics career path for you based on what you're interested in and what you say that you're good at. Thank you so much for watching. If you want more videos like this, like this video, subscribe, and turn on notifications.